So I'm Allison Gray, and I'll be your host for this strange event that I decided to put together on a whim. So without further ado, let's talk about death. Our first performer is Stephen McCartney. Woo! I haven't, I haven't done a, uh, a performance where I had to sit on a stool in a long time. Mm -hmm. And I also love how like intimate this space is. This is really cool. Because I think, inevitably, when you talk about death, it has to get super intimate. So um, I wanted to ask you guys, like, why, why did you come to this particular event? And we want to offer their why. Obsession. Obsession? With death. Death? Yeah. Cool. We have that in common. <laughs> Anyone else, like, particularly intrigued with this idea that we're just going to open up this conversation? Okay. On Friday the 13th? Yeah, right? Yeah. The whole day, isn't that cool? Um, so I wanted to start with sort of this anecdote. Um, I also have had this, like, lifelong obsession with, with death and all its very myriad forms. Um, my first book of poetry, Death by Active Movement, was all about death. Uh, this novel that I'm still working on also involves death. Um, and I'll just tell you a little story. Uh, a few years ago, I was, in, I was in Italy, and I was in Rome, and I was exploring the, uh, the catacombs that they have there. But so we're down in these catacombs, and the person who's like giving this tour um, is like showing us around, and at the end of the tour, they look at us and go, why do you think they built this place? They had these bones that were elaborately put into these beautiful tapestries all over the walls, and they were like, why do you think they built this place? People wonder why. Uh, took the bones of the dead and arranged them this way. Uh, and we were kind of stumped, and the, the tour guide looked at us and said, it's a space of love. It's a space of the living honoring the dead. Really, really interesting, this idea of taking death and transforming it into something beautiful and something profound that the living can uh, appreciate. Um, and so I've always I've tried to sort of equate that whenever, whenever I have conversations about death with different folks. That the act of dying is an act of love, and the act of mourning is an act of love, and the act of grieving is an act of love. So I just, it, it's really enriched my life sitting in that space of mortality as often as possible. This idea that we're all united in the fact that we're all going to die, we don't know how, we don't know when, we don't know why, we don't know by whom or at what hands. Um, that's something that's always kind of made me look at so many petty conflicts in the world and just go, this is just silly. Like this, we're all going to get to the same spot no matter how long it takes. Um, and so for me personally, this mantra of allowing your own death and the certainty of it to permeate every moment of your life has been enriching to me, even though I understand that most people spend their lives trying to deny that fact. So the book is sort of an uh, idea of like, death is a bad thing from the beginning, then there's sort of this transition in the middle, and then this de death is an inspiring thing or a good thing at the end. The old adage that every seven years your, the cells in your body are, are recycled, and they become the air, they become the sea, they become the dirt. Um, like, everything in this room is constructed of something else, including ourselves. And, and like, we don't have access to the experiences of what those things were before they were the things in front of us. But um, I'm always struck with this idea that they're here and we're here and like, this is crazy. All of this is fucking crazy. Being alive is the crazy thing. It's not the dying part. That's simple. However we make sense of mortality and, and the ending of our people's lives, I think it's how we incorporate that into our living experience and into the lives of uh, people that come after us that really matter. So thank you all for having me, and I'd love to talk to you guys afterwards. Thank you. Thank you.